In this video we're going to be creating buttons. Keep in mind you want your buttons to be click friendly and touch friendly because a lot of people are using their own mobile devices to access websites these days. I'm going to grab my rectangle tool over here. I'm going to click on the canvas and I'm going to set my width and height. I'm going to do around 135 by 35 pixels tall. Rule of thumb is to keep it anywhere from 25 to 35 pixels tall minimum if you want it to be a touch friendly button. Next thing we need to do is change the color. To change the color I'm going to double click on this icon in the layer. I can either use the orange if I have the swatch loaded or I can now we're going to make our button stand out a little so we're going to add some extras. You're going to double click to the side of this layer. We're going to click on stroke. I'm going to tell it to be on the inside. You can change this size and you can change the color. I'll maybe choose the same color as the robot's head and hit OK. Now we can add a drop shadow by double clicking choosing drop shadow instead of multiply I'm going to choose normal I'm then going to choose a white color and I'm going to choose my distance as zero maybe my size as five and hit OK and you can zoom in to see if you like that look and feel now I'm just going to grab my text tool you can change your colors up here and your fonts and sizes I'm going to choose white click and just write more info. I'm going to select this text and move it where I'd like it to go. If you need it to be larger or smaller, just grab your text tool again to resize it. We're now going to emboss the text by double clicking on the side of it, choosing drop shadow. We are going to change the angle to a negative 90. We are going to change the opacity to a 45. We're going to change the distance to a 1 and the size to a 0. And we're going to uncheck use global light. That should give you more of an embossed look on your text. You're going to want to create a group for your button so that you can duplicate it and use it on other pages and save yourself some time. <clears throat> so we are going to use the create a group button. We're going to call this button and then just make sure you drag your button items into that group. I'm going to go ahead and close that group up. To duplicate it you can hit control J and now you have a copy of that you can then drag that into the other folders that you need. So if you need it in the store folder, if you need it in the about folder, and if you need it in the contact folder, we now have a copy of that button.